but yeah, it was a, it was a fun matchup. And honestly, it was just a, one of those true clashes of styles. Um, and you saw that kind of play out over the, over the course of the two halves. Um, but I mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, this, this game brings back reminders of, of what happened earlier in the year uh, when A&M struggled against Mississippi state and Arkansas. And um, it starts with the inability to get, to get the running game going. Um, Devon Achain had a huge night with obviously with 12 carries for 110 yards and two touchdowns thought down the stretch. You could certainly make an argument. They should have just given it to him more, um, especially with the way and was struggling to make many, many passes through the, through the air. Um, Devon, Demont Demas did have a have a strong night with five catches for for 43 yards, and and Anaya Smith also with with five catches for 77 yards. But honestly, I, it, it's one of those things when you have Zach Calzada, and we've, we've talked about this at at length throughout the year on the, on this on this show. When you have a when you have a weapon like a uh, Devon Achain and the way he was rolling in the second half. And you still have a guy in in Zach Calzada who's who's inexperienced from a playing perspective and and has a tendency to to struggle with accuracy and 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 struggle with the big mistakes. I think you could certainly make the argument A and M should have kept going to to Devon Hachain and and see what he could do. Um, Zach Calzada for him, um, it was it was a tough night. Yeah, he he finishes with 237 yards passing. You could you could certainly argue there were some good moments for him at times, but the two turnovers are what, are what are what's going to stick out from this game. And it was a, as poorly as a and played. And we talked about this last week as well um, against Auburn as poorly as a and played. The reason they were able to be in this game at 15 to 13 was because of, because of the turnover margin and avoiding turnovers. a and could not afford to, with the hole they put themselves in early, could not afford to to turn the ball over, um, and that's exactly what they did in the in the second half. And um, it went back to some similar things for Zach Pelzada that we had seen against Arkansas and 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 Mississippi State. Um, did not get his feet set in the pocket in the on the first one to Demond Demas, um, and you could make the argument that Demas should have caught it, but. The truth is, it was it was high and it was it was a 50-50 ball. Um, so, you know, he's just got to be able to set his feet on the, on that throw and relax and stay poised in the pocket and deliver deliver a ball to Demas that he can do something with. And then the second one, if you throw it late and inside, that's just a recipe for disaster. And um, up until that point, you know, A and M still had a chance to come back. There was still plenty of time left in the game, but. At that point, the game was the game was pretty much over in that situation, just with with the with the timeout situation and and needing two point conversions on both on both plays. And so, um, you know, it was it was a tough night for Zach Calzada, and you know he'd been taking some strides and 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 taking some steps forward, but tonight was was a bit of a step back for him in, in terms of some of the costly mistakes that he made. Um, delivered some good balls, but ultimately the same him offense just just wasn't consistent enough. And um, it starts with the, the formula that has worked for Jimbo Fisher lately has been getting the, um, has been getting the ground game going and, and they just couldn't do it against a rust, a, a defense that had frankly come in uh, surrendering a lot of yards on the ground. Uh, but Isaiah Spiller, a tough night for him, 15 carries for 41 yards to 2.7 yards per carry average. Uh, but uh, you know, and and again, Devon Achain clearly had the hot hand tonight. Uh, was surprised that they didn't try to get the running backs more involved in the passing game. But again, it was it was it was actually a decent night for for guys like Smith and and Weidemeyer and and Demond Demas. Um, and now, yeah, A and M start has to start looking towards a bowl game. I agree, this would be an interesting matchup. Actually, I would I would love to see this type of matchup happened with our, with Iowa. I um, think that could be, that could, that could be an interesting, again, kind of a, kind of an old kind of slugfest. Um, 